Hey, what's going on everybody? We're back in Microsoft Light Sim 2024 and I wanted to show you an additional way that you can take photos in the simulator where you can get up to 8K quality even if you don't have an 8K monitor and it's they're just super crisp, high quality images. So you're going to go over to your settings and then over to advanced options. And you'll see at the top we have developer mode here and you turn that on and this was available in Microsoft Lights in 2020 I think some people knew about it some people didn't it could it would let you do up to 4k that I remember but now you can do up to 8k and then once you have the developer mode loaded in you'll see at the top you can go to tools and then go down to screenshot and you have all these options of 2k through 8k with or without the UI and I'm gonna do the 8k once today because you might as well have the the highest quality that you can and when you click that it's going to prompt you on where you want to save these out and you just create a file name if you want and then hit save and once you hit save you want to leave it alone don't touch it because if you move it it'll it'll maybe take a picture of your feet or it'll adjust the angle it'll do something different so you hit the save and it might take like for 8k it might take 45 seconds to a minute and it's gonna zoom in like this and it's gonna hold on the on this screen just let it do its thing don't touch it and eventually it'll snap back to the the normal uh, viewing mode and that means it's done and then you have this super crisp 8k photo saved um, the file size varies from I've seen them from 30 to 50 uh, megabytes but you know we have some great photographers in flight sim in, in all the flight sims and I think some of you you know your work is so good that you might want to have the highest resolution that you can just to have it for yourself you know I don't know you could print it out you know frame it and give it to mom who knows but you can do that with this kind of quality and um, the world photographer mode is only giving you 2k so to have a, a 4k and 8k option and I just want to show you what I mean without the no UI. So I'm going to position my avatar in front of the helicopter. You know, we just got our rotor wing license. So we're going to take a picture, send it home to the family. Uh, you go to the camera mode which, with uh, Shift V, turn it around, frame it up the way you want. We're going to have our guy uh, just standing in front of the helicopter. And normally, yeah, if you take this picture right now, you'll have a 2K. Uh, image of it, which is fine. I think maybe 8K is overkill for most people, but I mean if you wanted to print these photos, you wanted to put it on a website, it's nice to have that, that high resolution. I mean it's worth it when I when I take these and I zoom in, I'm like wow, you can really see the quality. It's not degrading or anything. And, and it's nice to do it without having a display of that type. So again, we're going up to tools, screenshot, tap that 8K button. Once again, it'll prompt you and then just like I said, leave it alone, let it do its thing. Might, it might zoom in and do all this crazy stuff, and you might think that it's uh, it's not working, but it's going to work. This is kind of what I mean. What it does, it uh, it um, it zooms, and now we have this photo. This is me. Uh, I've opened it up, and look at that. You, I mean, you can really get in there, and you can see all the rivets, and everything looks looks really good. So, if you need to take screenshots that way, this is there for you to use. Um, I think it's, you know, in a lot of ways, print screen is probably the easiest if you just need a snapshot real quick to, to upload a, a point or a problem on, on a group or whatever. That's where I see a lot of images. Sometimes I see people taking a picture of the screen with their cell phone. They don't even know about print screen or the snippet tool. We're going to do one more photo. I'm going to go up to the, the sign here at uh, Lukla. And um, we're going to crouch down. You hit the C button. We're going to crouch and do a photo like we're in front of the sign, like we're posing with it. Again with the camera, so you take that shift V, lets you move in front of your avatar, and then, you know, frame it up the way you want. We're gonna get a nice, nice frame here. Back it out and zoom in with the scroll wheel. I'm using this on PC, this is a PC use case. I doubt, you, you can't, I don't think you can use developer mode on the Xbox. I don't know. I've never used Xbox, but I would assume that is a PC exclusive thing. So there we go. I like my shot. Tools. Screenshot. 8K no UI. And there we go. We got a beautiful shot of us posing with that sign. So yeah, pretty cool. It's pretty cool that you can do this um, for you livery developers, scenery developers. You might be interested in doing this if you did not 
already know about it, but you know, just gives you that that higher quality if you want it. You know, um, you know, if you take an 8K photo, you can always bring it down to 2K to 1080 or whatever you want. Um, I just think it's best to start with uh, high quality. Oh, and by the way, I did find out that you can run in this sim. It's just not mapped. You have to map it under the movement, and then you can run around, and it's animated and all that with the arms and and it uh, gets you around just a little bit quicker. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you find it helpful and you start taking some amazing photos. See you next time.